New fruit, yay! We also have new fruit, yay. Dawn pustules. I'll be honest, also though, Shaggy, I definitely need it. I got 10 types of fruit, nicely done. Having analyzed several different types of fruit, we are now able to triangulate fruity position. We can now use our radar to locate fruit. Couldn't we do that already? Oh, now it's just... Okay, now we just see it everywhere. Lesser mock bottom. I feel like it shows enough of it in locations we've been to, but whatever. Um, I was gonna say with the uh, shaggy long legs, the hint that it gave, or the exact orders of how to fight him, definitely was necessary. Scaly custard. Ooh, a lot more from Scaly Custard. Let's go. Also, I remember now it was, um... Bouncy. Was the Pokemon. The problem is, like, Serena is just a normal por person's name. And a normal person from the Pokemon anime. And then Steenie, like, no one knows what Steenie is. We worked hard today, and now it's time for a reward. Look how much juice we ended up getting. Like, Bound Sweet's a real name. Although I think it, the reason it's called Steenie is because the fruit is like Steen something. Good, we still have plenty of juice left. I wonder what the max amount of fruit you can get without wasting anything would be. How come Alf's the one that talks all the time? Several days have passed without any leads on the Cosmic Drive key. Searching for fruit is important, of course, but we really need to track down the signal that seems to be coming from Captain Olimar. The area where I first crashed. I have a feeling something big is there. Alf. Yeah, but I feel like once we, like, solve the cosmic key, it's just gonna wanna, like, push me... ...to, like, the next thing. And we got, like, a mini-boss that we found, so let's do the mini-boss. Day 9. keep forgetting to actually talk to people. I want to have a chat. Um, realistically, I think just all red would be the best option, wouldn't it? Because, like, red, I think, still does more Damage? Although I said I was gonna go do the bag. Let's do the bag first. But I think for the fight, just because the fire's there, although I don't even think the fire's gonna be an issue. Also, I never picked up the 10 that I made. So that's cool. With one more person, we're picking up a strong signal, but we can't seem to actually reach it. If we had a third party, we might be able to, but I just got an out-of-office message from the boss. He probably doesn't get much reception at the beach. We're kind of on a beach, too, but it's not quite the same. They, uh, accidentally bumped into the message. I'm gonna drop you guys 50. Because I'm assuming... Alf isn't needed right now. Why did I move that way? I guess that's the boss right there. Which means we're gonna send Alf this way. And then we're gonna have everyone else do this. Can I save, is Brittany just dead here? I guess, uh, I forgot, we could probably swim, right? Brittany's okay. Um, I guess I want Brittany can go over here. We also need to read things. I forgot about reading. Divide labor, split into three squads to manage your workload even more efficiently. Yeah. I should do that. 
When we opened this one up, I was curious what we'd find in the funny head at the top of the fruit. Turns out nothing, so it's got a thick skin with a big head that doesn't actually have anything inside. That's why I named it for the captain. Hee <laughs> hee. These little spheres have it all. Smooth skin, delicious juice, a nice smell. They're almost perfect, except that exact shade of green is the captain's. Like, favorite color of all time. There was a comma in captain's. He painted his room, his fingernails, and I heard even his dog this color. Bleh. This fruit's flesh is soft and pale yellow. It's juicy. Ha uh, juicy and has a sweet, sour flavor. I must also note that it's shaped almost exactly like a baby's bottom. Hmm. You say so. Well, the scientific merit of this observation is debatable. The adorability is not. Huh. Looks like a reptile doing its best impression of pudding. Doesn't seem very fruit-like at all. Not much juice. Not sweet. High fat content. Tasty, I guess, in an odd way. Just hope it wasn't a poisonous reptile. Oh, this tells me, like, the total amount... Like, ever? Like, there's only one last Cupid's grenade, or is there only one last here? Because I think I saw one here. Also, this is my first time seeing these ones. They use their numbers to hunt their fruit and nectar and try to get your you separated from your Pikmin. Do they take crewmates away? We have to remember that we need numbers on our side, too, if we want to fight back. I can forgive a lot of things in the animals on this planet. Damaging my suit? Sure. Capturing the captain? Okay. But stealing fruit and nectar from the Pikmin? That's low. One way to defeat an enemy is to cut off their supply lines. That's the mode of attack these flying things use. They fly? Uh, they suck up nectar, weigh down pellets, and do whatever they can to keep our numbers low on our troops starved. Uh, I appreciate the warning coloration to let us know it's more dangerous than the other models. Anything that risky is best approached with a bomb rock while it sleeps. Oh man, I actually chose the correct option. That's crazy. It's lavishly colored and so anxiety-ridden that a few footsteps can wake it up instantly. Kind of like me. It's also terror when it's awake. Which again, samesies. Those bulging eyes are owned for battle, with no known blind spots. We often find them asleep, but they wake as soon as we get close. For all we know, they're only pretending to sleep to lull us into a false sense of security. Still, sometimes that one second where they're waking up is all we need to go in hard. And then we haven't fought the hairy one, so we didn't get anything off of that. Yeah. I've arrived! <laughs> Bag it and tag it. There's no tags on this bag. I don't. Uh, yeah, that's where we want to go. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. Oh, please. I really want it to just be red so it's easier to... Just say that we have the right Pikmin to carry. Okay, so Alpha arrived. You guys are gonna go do your thing. We have the bag. I was gonna say it took Brittany and Alpha a long time, but I was reading for half that time. Bombs are not going to help. We're just gonna come in with a bit less on our side. Bombs aren't gonna help because we need to get rid of the hair. Oh, unless if he's already half dead. Okay, well, that's helpful. I'm already killing my Pikmin. They're spiced up! The Pikmin are really fired up now! The Ultra Spicy Essence seems to make them stronger. That's wild. The Ultra Spicy spec Nectar to invigorate Pikmin and boost their attack power. They're going wild. Charge! Yes, spice it up. Ow. Yikes! We got crushed mud a little bit. Oh, it really does not last long. Also, unsurprisingly, I'm... Letting Pikmin die. I don't want Brittany.
I probably should have, um... Maneuvered a bit better. Oh, Lord, I didn't think you were coming back. Now it's a lost control. You're losing Pikmin. I wonder if the yellow Pikmin would still work if I didn't do this, actually. Yeah, I'm, I'm losing Pikmin. Hair's gone. I don't like the way your head... Oh, that is all we needed. Oh, that's what was inside of you. Well, I'm sure it was worth it. I... Mm. I kind of wish it would, like, default if I'm trying to charge. Uh, yeah, no more fruit there. Guess I'm gonna... Let's have you just go that way. I know probably not the best time for this. Let's see, there was, like, a fruit over here. I might be able to just grab that. Let's just dig it up. As long as the uh, Wally Wogs don't care. Probably should read that note. All Pikmin can dig. Thank you. So, are the yellow ones better at digging? Oh, God, there's two of them? Why are there two? The, like, bald one? It's fur insulates it not only from the elements, but also from attack. To strip away the hair is a long process that requires you to dodge its crushing legs, but it's the only real way to get at the monster's vulnerable core. I haven't yet solved the problem of how it sees. For one thing, there's all that hair in the way, and for another, I don't see any eyes. The noise when this thing moves makes my ears hurt. It's so spooky. It looks like a ghost. It's only slightly louder than the captain's tromping all over the ship, but I like the tufts of hair all over the legs. It looks soft and comfy, and I'm into the shaggy style. Talk about tough nut to crack. It's too big to go down quick. It stomps on Pikmin like bugs underfoot, and its only weak spot is guarded by a thick nest of hair. We can get at it by ripping the hair, but one by one. But just the uh, idea of doing that to something makes my own hair hurt a little bit. Baldy long legs. He's like going in a different direction. Is he in like a different spot? Uh, did it lose its hair in a fight or was it born bald? As ruthless and tough as it is, it also seems a little pathetic. I prefer its sleek look to the hairy one, which made me sweat just to look at. They could both stand to be cuter though. Ooh, what if it was covered in wool? They say the best defense is a good offense, but getting rid of all its hair to focus entirely on stomping around might have been taken too far. Still, I can always respect a warrior willing to commit all the way. Okay. Well, we can dig. We can recover fruit. That poor tadpole's dying. Ooh, I'm already here? I, um... I really don't know what I want from you guys right now. Again, I don't think we can go to the peach route, so I guess progress it is. Obviously, I have to, like, deal with this. But I ain't, um... I'm not really feeling dealing with that, I guess, is the problem. So you guys aren't helping? Oh, there's a crab. Kind of want it. They've already arrived. Probably should have tried to come here with the um. 
yellow Pikmin. Well, they've already arrived, and I'm heading back. That's how you delegate the, uh, the crew. Come on, that's, like, basically dug up. It's really not good. There we go. I think that's good enough. I don't think we should have to worry about that. Maybe. That Wally Wog sure was looking at me. I'm here. Now what? Yeah. That is the question. I sure did let a lot of Red Pikmin die. Damn it. Now. Take like a couple stones just so they can... Not waste that. Damn it. Glad Alf's helping. Okay, we at least got the correct color that we wanted to make up for the reds that I let die because I kind of just let them get stomped on. I guess the stone pigmen would have been good for that fight just because they actually see the laser process before or oh, you guys are heading back yeah yeah there's another cherry so I, again I don't know if that's like the last cupid one at all make sure I grab everyone here probably again should have tried to grab yellows we can we can try to Deal, deal with the middle bit. We do have a little bit more time than I thought. Could always head back that way, too. I don't... I'm, I don't want to throw. I want to... Instead of trying to deal with, like, a silly puzzle... We'll go try to deal with a silly puzzle. I can't quite do this like I wanted to. Um. Okay, Brittany, you just chill. Yeah, I'm glad I eventually figured out how the uh, hold the button button works. Oh. <laughs> Alright, let's see what's going on over here. Hey, guys! Whoa, why did you guys not want to follow me? Oh, man! Already worth it. That's probably just defense. Hmm, this looks kind of familiar. I need to get it back to the Drake so I can analyze it. Quick though, I want you guys said follow me, and Brittany can figure out what she's doing. Okay, they they're doing their own thing. Can't can't throw you for some reason. Grab the note. Is this note going to be Olimar telling me that he dropped off some... To... It has been so long. I'm, I hope my son... Oh, see, he still has his daughter. My son and daughter back on Hokutare haven't forgotten about their father. Once my work here is done, I'm taking an extended holiday so we can take a spacecation. We might not have the budget to go far, but that's okay as long as we're together. Aw, Olimar loves his family. Good for him. There's some 
normal ass enemies over here. It's weird to keep getting notes like this. A Bulbarb's eyes is its weak point, but what about its backside? Its backside still seems like a pretty good weak point. I'm not gonna front there. Analyzing. Aha! Looks like an incoming message from the Drake. Analyzing recovered item. Metal Suit Z. This undergarment increases the spacesuit's durability. I remember seeing these back on Kopai. Not easy to come by these as it looks like scrap metal. Aha, it's even got instructions with it. Let's note this down in the exploration note. Increase the durability of your spacesuit. I like the rock pigments there too, just to say like, yeah. As long as I'm wearing this little gizmo, a few bumps and bruises shouldn't be a problem. stuck on things. Oh, no, do we have time? Hurry up usually means we still have time. Oh, and these are just butterflies. I want to kill it because I think it's a different colored butterfly. We did it. Um, so technically nothing else here, right? So we just need to try to get home and hopefully not leave anyone behind where oh lord hey so it turns out we're, we're so many dead Well, that's upsetting. I kind of thought we were done, like that we we got out of the zone, and that they would have been fine. I guess the smart option would have been to um send the captain with them. Well, you win some, you let Brittany chill where she is. What, how many did we end up losing? It looked like a lot. We have a hundred in the field, but that looked like a big chunky amount. I felt good too. I was like, yeah, everything's going great. And I just forgot about the cave. Okay, so we're, we're just gonna go straight to uh, whatever that path is. I guess this water will lead to that. That water will lead to that. That probably leads there. Unclear. Like, this is something we can do, but again, like I said, I feel like once we accomplish whatever we have to do here, it probably is going to lead to, um, telling us to go somewhere else. Ha! 
how many deaths occurred. I think I did a little bit better at separating my uh, crew out, though, to do some objectives. A little bit. Just kind of. It's hard. It's really hard to keep track of it all, but I, I do like it as a feature. Like, you were kind of able to do it in Pikmin 2, but being able to, like, tell your crew to go in a direction is great. Can't wait to taste the new food! Skip it. Delectable bouquet. Knowing this is waiting at the end of the day makes it all worth it. Look, we got two rows. If only didn't have to share it. I hate the others. Good to build our juice supplies like this. We should be all right for a little while. Sixty-one. I mean, a good chunk of that, I think, more so came from the boss fight and me not trying hard enough. I, I like how the game also told me, like, yeah, maybe you want to not let them die? A moment of silence for the Pikmin we have lost today. Okay, that's enough. Losing soldiers is something you never quite get used to, but it's our responsibility to go on, and go on we shall. Thank you, Charlie. Exploration, Day 10. 